even in our time here, I think the summers have got cooler, you know. I think the springs have come, this last three, four springs have all been pretty early springs, you know. Uh, I don't know whether it's a trend. Uh, this has certainly been a, a hotter summer than we've had for two or three. This is very, very nice weather for the first week in August. You know, everybody has always talked to us about the dog days of August and that will come the first 10 days of August and, and maybe it will still come, you know. But boy, it sure is nice now. And as we move into the later part of August, yeah, you're going to get 90 degree days, but you're going to have a lot shorter 90 degree day than you would have in the end of June, you know. And the chances for your evenings to cool off are much higher. I think actually the cows prefer the cold weather to the hot weather. You know, cows love 20 degrees. They milk very well, they enjoy it. As long as they're out of the weather and the, they're dry, they don't mind being cold. They do not like heat, you know. They struggle to cool themselves down when it gets hot. We have to do a lot of things to help cool them down, like feeding early in the morning and late in the evening, because the cows themselves don't have a lot of appetite when it's really hot in the middle of the day. The cows themselves don't go outside unless we get overcrowded in a particular area. They don't really like outside. Hmm? Maybe in September, if there's some stubble to be grazed off or something and we have a group of cows, we might put some out, but other than that, no. Even though we don't have to, we will bed all our outside yards with young cattle in the summertime because the black dirt and the dark dirt tends to get very hot for them to lay down on. If we put down fresh bed and fresh corn stalks, they go right down and lay on it. Follow, let the animal do a lot of its own decision making, you know. If they want it, we'll help them out. Huh? The biggest one that we worry about is more, probably more on the outside calves, the young stock, and that's the sudden change in temperature. You know, the 75 degree, 80 degree October morning that ends up being the 26 degree October night, you know. That's the one that we worry about or the freezing rain, you know, the ice storms that come through, possibly before the outside animals have had the chance to get their full winter coat or get fully adapted to winter. The static months, you know, like the fall and the, and, and the summer, uh, and even the, the, the extreme cold of the winter, if it settles down to 20 degrees or 15 degrees and stays there all winter, we're happy. You know, if it starts to thaw and those pens all turn slushy and muddy, and the animals get wet and then freeze again, then we worry, you know? So when it's cold, we want to see them what we call nesting. So when the calf's laying down, we want, don't want to see its legs. We only want to see half of the calf sticking out of that, you know? Now, we also put on coats on all those calves, you know? So when they leave here day one, they have an insulated jacket that goes out over their backs and they, that stays on them probably to about week five, week six. We don't want to keep it on much longer than that because it's very hard for us to measure body condition when there's a jacket on the calf, you know? 